they've become the red gold of Nigeria. At many markets, such as here in Ibadan in the southwest of the country, tomatoes are in such short supply that they cost five times as much as just a couple of weeks ago. That's why radio host Tayo Alayande no longer enjoys buying groceries. She has to cook every day for her family of four, and she needs tomatoes for nearly every dish. Before, I cook stew twice in, the, in a week. I will cook maybe Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It will be stew. And when Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, weekend, I cook soup. No, this, this time around, I cook once in a, I cook my soup, either soup or stew, I cook once in a week. You know, since I cannot really go for that price. A tiny moth by the name of Tuta Absoluta is the culprit behind the loss of the Nigerian's favorite food. Abiola Oke has long been researching the insect. The biologist says that it's so difficult to control because its larvae live inside the plant's leaves, making it hard for farmers to treat them with insecticide. He has to use about three or four insecticides, not together, not as a cocktail, but rotationally. The first week he can use insecticide A, and the second week insecticide B, and third week insecticide C, you know, and then start rotating. And even then, many larvae still survive in the leaves. In some regions of Nigeria, they've destroyed nearly all of the tomato plants. That's why OK is experimenting with other very simple measures in her research greenhouse. A trap made up of a bowl of water with some detergent. The light is meant to attract the nocturnal moths. Nigeria's researchers have reacted quickly, but the more they understand about the pest, the more obvious it becomes that there is no quick fix. In the meantime, Nigerians have found their own ways to deal with the tomato crisis. On the other side of Ibadan's market, more and more vegetable peddlers have been filling their shelves with tomato paste and canned tomatoes. The Nigerian city has begun to strictly regulate the import of these products. That's why some vendors have been simply bringing them in from across the border in neighboring Benin by night, according to the shoppers here. It's the only way to accommodate the fast-growing demand. Radio host Alayande, meanwhile, has found another solution for her tomato problem. She's been experimenting with new recipes without the staple ingredient. I used to slice tomato inside that fried egg. I'll slice a lot of tomato there. What's not that the, it is too costly in the market, so I use onions. It, I will just slice plenty of onions inside it, then I'm okay. Bell peppers, carrots, eggplants. The region offers many fresh vegetables, according to Alayande, and they're great for cooking with. But as soon as prices drop again, she'll buy a large bucket of fresh tomatoes for her family.